Hey Clayton, my name is Ashanti, and I was calling to see what is your take on our strategy you think would be best to um, start my uh, journey into uh, passive income and rental properties. I plan on getting a HELOC uh, with a home I just paid off after four and a half years. My home value is about 260000 uh, so I was wanting to know, is it smart to buy one property at a time outright? slowly but surely build my portfolio or should I attack multiple properties at one time since I have a substantial amount of my HELOC uh, available to me. Um, I still do have uh, my current job that pays me pretty decent wages and I plan on using that as well to uh, get my HELOC balance uh, back to 100% as I'm going through this journey of buying properties at the same time. Thank you. Thank you, Ashanti. Great question. Really great question. Um, so number one, you should book a call with our team because we can help you tremendously in this regard. Um, just go to morrisinvest.com and click on the, the book a call button and uh, we'll jump on the phone with you for 30 minutes because I do not want you spending all of your own money. You should absolutely be using the bank's money. Okay. So I, again, think scale, How, you know, and think Right now, with interest rates as low as they are, it's basically free money. So if you now have a home equity line of credit, just say for $200,000, like if you worked with us, that's like four rental properties, right? Because think of, we could, well, I don't know. You talk to our team and they'll, they'll, there's no one size fits all with our team, but we'll kind of talk through different pricing. But basically, you're looking at, you know, anywhere from thirty-five, dollars $40,000 down payment on a brand new construction property in the best school districts in West Texas with Fortune 500 jobs and low crime, best landlord friendly state in the country with a tenant already moving into the property and cash flowing from day one. And on certain properties, depending on which client, which situation, you might also get one of our cost segregation analysis. And that's not for everyone. And it's, you know, that program, it depends on if you fit that program. You could basically then take that cost segregation analysis to your CPA that year, hand it to them and get that full amount, your full down payment back on your taxes, which is mind blowing. So I would much rather have, you know, using that equity for multiple purchases in some of the best rental markets in the country with interest rates as low as they are, instead of taking all of your cash and buying one property that cash flows 3000. Now you're getting, yeah, cash flows $3,000 a month. So you're getting the full 3000 minus expenses and property manager fees, et cetera. But wouldn't it be great if you got four properties that are cash flowing $3,000. Now you got $12,000 a month in cash flow, and you get the tax benefits of that larger volume of purchase of properties and depreciation on your taxes. Furthermore, furthermore, you then can also get the benefits of the, you know, the internal rate of return, the IRR, instead of a cash on cash return. Because a cash on cash return might be about 8%, but an internal rate of return using someone else's money has you up close to 20% internal rate of return because now you're using the bank's money to build wealth. On top of that, you're having the tenants pay down the principal balance, therefore increasing your equity position. And it sounds like, you know, you're working, right? You still, you're, you have a job. You're so right now, think of this as like icing on the cake. You're still producing income from your W2 job that pays your, your day-to-day -day walk around money. And now you've got an additional wealth building vehicle of four or even five cash flowing rental properties that are building your future. So to me personally, it's a no brainer. I would much rather own four rental properties that are brand new construction with a tenant already in the property cash flowing when you close on the property rather than buying one. And then now you've used all your money. Now what you're going to wait another five years to get that capital back again in order to buy down, you know, down payments. So. Uh, just some things to think about, but if, 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 uh, if I were wearing your shoes to me, it would absolutely be a no brainer. And I will also say I've been in those shoes and I, ex I did exactly what I just said. And that was how I was able to accelerate my real estate investing journey by using the bank's money to do that. So again, book a call with our team. Ashanti will be happy to help you.
Again, go to morrisinvest.com. Click on the big book a call button and pick a time slot that works for you. Hope that, hope, and if we can't, we'll, we'll just at least point you in the right direction and help you out. If you have a voicemail question you'd like to ask, again, go to our website, go to morrisinvest.com slash Clayton. And again, while you're there, grab our 90-day Financial Freedom Bootcamp. Again, we put a lot of work into this and it's totally free. Download the PDF, it's like 30 pages or so. And we take you through week to week to week and we're gonna make you do homework. We're gonna make you put stuff on a calendar and really map out your financial future. And I think it'll be transformative. We've had thousands of people download our bootcamp and they've had unbelievable success. So take advantage of it, it's totally free. We built it for you. We want to see you succeed. Thanks, everyone. Now go out there, take action, become a real estate investor. I believe it's the number one way to build wealth. We'll see you next time, everyone.